What's up, dude? Okay. Oh, are we on? Are we online? Pop out chat. Pop out chat. My chat. Channel. Pop out chat. Okay, chat's ready. Time for a big uh, swig. Swig of uh, work juice. How much sugar? I don't know. Did you get your 100 grand? What do you mean, did you get your 100 grand? Alright, I'm gonna update my computer for fun. And then I'm gonna be done updating my computer for fun. I love updates. That's so fun. Alright, what, what do we got? What do we got? We got some NVIDIA driver updates. We have Oh, Linux kernel. I should probably not do that because that kind of breaks everything when I when you update the Linux kernel. GNOME, Vulkan, OpenCL. I what? I'm gonna not do this. Wire plumber. What happens if you do this? Failed. Bluesy, that's Bluetooth. Where's where is it? It's running. Native listen address are what? All right, whatever. Goodbye. Okay. All right, I was listening to Skrillex yesterday on my. Oh crap. I'm not going to listen to that today, though. I'm going to go back to SoundCloud. Breeze Aesthetics. We'll try this. <laughs> Did you get it yet? I mean... I don't think there's been a time where I, I I even had a net worth of a hundred grand. Ah. Okay. Let's do Sublime. Mmm, Sublime. So remember if you were here yesterday, do you remember everything I did yesterday? Well, these six lines of code do the same thing, but it's not as fast, but it works. And the thing that I made yesterday doesn't actually work. So I have this little, little thing here. What if it's exactly correct? What? What if what if n What's the, what if n is the same as the last n? Then it means that it's going to be out of bounds. But it also means that n is exactly correct. 
And it also means that it's going to like. Whatever. Wait. If I start upper, the vent is less in time. Then it's the lower one, but I'm doing plus one. Okay. So this needs to like have that there. Whoops. Huh. Okay. Golly gosh. Golly G Willikers. What's this what's the circles on my desk for? That was That was an ADHD moment. Just from complete focus to utter distraction in less than one second. Okay, I have this function that gets stuff. I should probably have an algorithm. It's used in, it's only used to add event lists, right? But like, I need it for both. Hmm. All right, I was also thinking that in the timer replication, I should not pass replication through event added. I should pass the replication dot. Oh, 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 it doesn't, it just passes the timer. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, well, I guess that makes sense then. Wait, never mind. Wait, no, no, no. No, it doesn't need it. I'm confused now. Wait, it, it's from this player, so it knows it's from this player, so. Wait. Uh, I don't know, dude. I'll, I'll just leave it for now. So, I need to make... Bro, I don't feel... Whoa feel like it what the heck I need to make another scan step that uses I I have this terrible feeling that I'm not gonna get this done today Okay, then what's something easier I can work on? Well, this is cool. Six root three. No one has, uh, calculated that yet people see my answer more often than they ask about the problem okay so do I need to have a global time value here? Yeah, I could. I could have. I could store the network queue on the timer. 
<sighs> but it's more like it's more like network data or something. I should probably maybe I should maybe I should have a network module like basically timer replication and then have a hash of the timer object and the meta the network metadata is stored in that reference so like Oh snap, oh snap. Okay, so I can actually use this right here. So this das is good. I'll call network data is this. And then I can do like network network data timer equals some network data. It's just empty, but like maybe it's like oh yeah, mate. The buffer, the buffer is two seconds. Yeah, dude. The 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 index index is one. Yeah, man. And uh, I gotta tell you that the the queue, the network queue is empty. Okay, so if we have this information, and then we do event added, that's that's a callback that's on every timer. Oh. Uh, Is it 16? No, it's 6 root 3. Alright, so I made our network data. So instead of. So replicate timer, that makes sense to just like always send it. But then. Timer events. It's more like uh, the get in the line, buddy, right? Seems that way to me. Uh, so instead of just sending it, just like send it, bro. Instead of doing that, sometimes it seems that way to me. Print concat calls list. How about I delete that comment? I don't want to hear that from you. Stupid past quat writing comments. All right, so I've just broken the entire game. Um. That's always a good way to get myself to work. Hmm. So after an event is added, it's like, it's like after it's already modified the playback index. Uh, so I'm going to call it with index. Because like the the buffer the, the network index is supposed to be relative to the 
the timer event timeline. It's kind of hot, bro. Outside air. Some people call it fresh. Huh. Okay. So, what if, okay, if there's no index, it means there was an instant event, right? Okay, so I can just do this. Okay, what if it's like crazy? No, 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 no. It makes more sense to do it inside here. Oh, it'll be different actually. Right, 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 right. So now this can be done. This can be done like this. But this has to be more advanced. Hi, Rapid. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't respond when you said it. I did see it though. Oh. Uh, okay. So we do. Local network. Uh. Data equals network. Data. No word. Data timer. And then we do index. Um, uh, <laughs> ah. I need to figure out if the event uh, figure out if the event that got added will fire within uh, data dot buffer seconds of real time from the current real time and that that's literally just uh it's so easy it's just it's just timer time uh <coughs> timer event two minus timer time and then divided by global scale is less than data dot buffer so we probably want to multiply by a global scale. Even though it's like, oh no, it's dividing by a negative number. Well, actually that. I could literally do that. I could, I could make timers run backwards by like editing code everywhere. Huh. You could have a timer that runs forwards and a timer that runs backwards. You just like run bots backwards, not care. But uh, I would need to basically make a time travel system, so I'm just going to make it the easy way.
I can use, uh, it makes so much more sense to put this code inside the timer, timer event thing, but like, cause like I already have a bunch of data in there and like I could just like update all the network stuff in here, but it's extensions. Not every timer. Not every timer needs to be networked. So I need to, I need to have the networking separate from the timers so that so that if the local timers are faster that doesn't that's not a huge deal cuz there's not a, like most of the timers are actually replicated okay but most of the timers aren't sending their data so the, yeah, no, 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 never mind. Most of the t most of the timers are copies from somewhere else, so they won't need this system. Saw your comment. I saw that you saw my comment. Timer get, get global scale or something. I, I, I. Copy. And then add it to the data buff, the data, the data, the data, the data. Data. Should be easy. Should we just be like, yeah, mate, just, just queue it up. Um. Okay. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, I should be able to just insert Q index TIV value uh, timer event. Wow. So get index after that's got to be like some kind of algorithm or something. <sighs> okay, so do I have do I have like timer core stuff or something? What's a what's a module that's loaded here and also loaded somewhere else? Timer indexer. 
I mean, that kind of makes sense as a timer indexer function. Because it's like, oh, I'm a timer indexer, get index after. So I'm going to move this code. into timer indexer because it's kind of ugly right there it's kind of looking ugly timer indexer all right it's, it's i mean it's gonna be ugly here too but you know i don't care because no one's ever gonna look at this code uh, oh we got an end guess as well all right local function get index after uh events it's literally an, an events list so why did i do that so floor function get index after okay uh, so the only global I reference is floor. Wait, I literally don't have floor. That's cringe. I'm cringe. I didn't add the floor function. made your tame function as much cleaner uh the the special trick is uh to to have the modules return an initialization function that runs after everything else is loaded so like i have these main modules and and those are what it, it runs all of them concurrently it, it yeah, it requires all the code concurrently. And then if that code returns a function, it waits until all the modules are have run. Wait, does it? No, it only it only it, it it waits until that loop is done. It's it's run with coroutines. And then and then it calls the initialize functions after that. So even if they, so if they, if they have weights or stuff in them, is that how I do it? That's kind of. But like that's what that's what loads all the other functions. So I don't have one main function. Well, I do have uh, the load module is the main. This this is the only thing that runs basically. It's a it's a regular script. It's the only regular script. Everything else is a module. So here's a list of main functions. And then it's like, oh, what's the, what's inside this script? This, this load.lua is actually here. It's a script. And then it re calls require on every single script in the load module. And then if it has uh, if it returns a function, it adds it to this list of main functions. Module function? What the hell is module function? Oh, it's the module initialization functions run first. And then the main function initialization runs after that. And then I have a initialize last thing. I probably don't need that, but it's okay. Do I even use that init last? Let's see. Init last. Uh, I use it in remote. Yeah, I only use it for the remote module. Apparently it works. But yeah, really nice organization. Like you say. All right, we got 
We got get index after. And it's this is mega slow, but it's okay. Alright. Uh we can do get index after timer dot events. I guess I'll load up the thing. Timer events was clean. Timer indexer. The timer indexer doesn't load timer events, does it? No, okay. Uh, so usually it's at the end here. But it's okay if it's not. It's okay if you don't want to. Timer dot delete. So then in the timer replication, where I was writing code, now it has this little index guy. And basically, We need to update the the thing. So basically, if index and index is less than data dot index, then data dot index equals data dot index plus one. Because like there was an event added before. What I could do is I could have some sort of um, multiplexer, and if it's a if it's a timer which sends network data, it uses a different function than the regular timers, so that I can run shorter code. Screw timer debug. No one cares about timer debug. Sneeze. What? <laughs> Server script that calls the module that starts all the modules. Wait, I think that's how mine works as well. I think the load script is if there's a load script and a load module and the load script just calls the load module.
I really don't want to dirty this code with network data. Because, like, I could add the network data as, as a, like, part of the timer object. Insert is table dot insert. This is trash. Yeah, no, I could literally do like if timer dot network. Well, well, that's the same same deal because that's like. It's got to be monolithic with network and playback. Bro. Bro. Wait. Q just adds the timer. Oh, it oh, it's literally on the timer. Okay, I was like, how do you know what the timer is? Okay, so what? Wa 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 wa. Wah 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 wah. If I if I I I I. That's a hot timer. So we add an event and then we're like, oh, this this timer is hot. Hot timers. Timer. Timer equals true. So then in the network step, I can just be like, yeah, bro. Okay, it's probably at the end. So number Q. C 
so we know ki kind of kind of we know Does this work? I need glick get global glick 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 glip glop. I could, I could also not calculate this and just always throw it into the queue. And then I could do the global scale. I could ignore this okay yeah it would probably be better to just ignore this right here and then do the global scale calculation yeah it's it's literally yeah it's it's literally the same thing as scan step except with Network index. <laughs> and I can also run it per timer. Because I'm not actually playing back events, I'm just replicating it. Or I'm just, I'm just saying these events need to be replicated. So I think, I think I'm gonna ignore this. Got gifted a sub? Yeah. Jello and and an anonymous gifter, which might also have been same guy. Gifted lots of sub. I might actually make Twitch money. That would be exciting. Mmm, making that Twitch money. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we do this. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So now we know which timers are hot because events are only added one at a time. And now in the scan step, which happens here. Uh, this is in the render manager. Oh. So this can happen at just like some other time. run fun service uh, 
I think a heartbeat is the one I wanted. Did you just replicate a timer event? That's pretty cringe, bro. Uh, yeah, I need to rewrite this. <laughs> I'll just do the easy version. Code optimization can come later. So in here, we do uh, I'm making my game right now. I'm working. Uh, what do I call this time? I don't know. Time. Okay, so basically we go through for timer in hot timers do. <clears throat> I need to make mini games at the end of the death run match. Like you have like jump rope and like hop I guess another mini games to test who's the winner <laughs> okay local data equals network Data timer. That data should exist. If data doesn't exist, then there is a problem. to clean the network data I didn't want to clutter the timer object with network data but it it's literally just attached and so it makes the most sense having like timer dot network equal timer dot network I didn't want to do this timer dot network and then there's no such thing as network data 
so. Yeah. Timer dot network, and then. Um, should exist. Maybe I should call it network. Like, be like, ah, yeah, this is network. Oh, yeah, network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Network. This makes sense. Let's call it network, not net o work. Network. Mm hmm. Okay, so now. Now I'm like, oh, okay. The queue is the network queue. The queue should not be empty. So, ooh, wait. That it die do 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 we? That's the. Oh. Index. Okay. Okay, so. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's wrong if I'm not mistaken. Index. We can do it like this. Like now, it looks a lot more like the other code. So add all the stuff. Um, actually, I want that line. It's a hot timer because it has a timer event in the network queue. Yeah. That's only used right there now. So I can just slap it right in there. Mm hmm. Wait. Do. Do I. Do I. Do I even need a network index? If I just. No, I don't need a network index. But it would be a good idea. Yeah, but then I don't need a network scan step. Okay. Okay, I don't need a network index. Whoops, my code is really small. Um, I don't need a network index, but Could make network. 
network buffering bit more resource efficient. Because, like, if I make a bot. And then I add all the network events. It fills the network queue, but it doesn't need to fill the network queue. What I should do is have a a buffered scan step that that fills the network queue. with on the fly so so you have like a a future timeline of events and then you have the real time playback of the events but then you also have a buffered scan of the events that is adding it to a network queue to send to clients so it goes into a little a little buffer queue that gets gets sent every every network step this this is this is a really good design I think what I'll do for now is just have the network queue will just I'll just flood the network queue and it's it's not that it's kind of inefficient it's really inefficient for really long bots but or actually it depends on how good Roblox's table.move is. If table.move can... If table.move is a uh, constant time, then this is... It's fine, and it doesn't matter. So I guess it all depends on that. Roblox table.move. I'm going to ask Trey. He might know. If table.move, I feel like every team is a 50-50 of either you shitting on your code or being proud of your code. <laughs> that's, that's a good observation. You're totally right. Did I just get coffee on my nose? Ah, 
delicious. Okay, so we got here, network queue. We have the queue of the network. What we do is find the index, get index, we, we get the index. I still need the global time. Yeah! All I need to do is grab the index of this. Q. Kablooey. Uh. <laughs> Get global scale. Um, uh, what is the, the global scale of the timer? So I do timer time. <coughs> if I, if I, sh I guess it doesn't actually matter. I don't need to do this. The time of the heart beat does not actually need to be accurate. It just needs to increase. So I can use the timer step time definition. Global time definition. All right, so I do timer time time plus network buffer plus times the timer's global scale. And then now I have this index and I simply flush the queue based on that. I do timer events. Uh, timer. It's, it's like this, it's like this. Scan step, move, shuffle down events, deleting the old ones which are, are ready to fire. Shuffle down events, yes. Wait. Oh. True. So if I stream events into the network queue using a scan step, then I can use the literal queue 
I can, I can, I, I can simply use the queue as a reference for the 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 network. And then right after I send it, I can clear the queue. But with this, I need to create a new table. <laughs> Gotta make those new tables, unfortunately. Yes, so uh, basically I use these. I use this function. Try it. Damn it. There's no way it's constant time. Okay. Ah, I have to use Roblox. Lay Roblox. <laughs> L Roblox, yo. Oh, did I just? All right, did you get? No, it's not connected. Show me. There we go. Uh, let me write it down first. This is not necessary if I scan step uh, timer events into the network view. Scan step. Raid? Who raided? Grapes and stuff. Watch me develop. I'm about to develop so fast. Uh, okay, so I gotta open Roblox Studio. Uh oh. Uh, and then I'm going to test script, uh, okay, T, T small is a table, and then, and then, uh, I guess I, uh, it's okay, it's okay. Move equals table. I'm testing how fast table dot move is. Uh, for I equals one, one million, ten million, a hundred million, ten million. D wait, it just auto completed it. That was kind of cool. T I equals I, and then we do uh, T zero equals tick, and then we do uh, table dot move. Uh, 
Uh, basically. Should I, should I, like, make it, should I do, like, linearly squared or something? That would probably be a good idea. What, did I just do table.move after I localize it? Okay, so we got, uh, linearly squares. Wait, no, I just need to create coefficient, coefficients. God damn, am I really going to do linearly squares? Where's the, oh, the mouse is over here. Uh, okay, how do you do linearly squares? Should I even, I don't know, dude. I'll, I'll just like average division or something. Yeah, no, I'll just average division. And then we do four I equals one. A thousand do uh oh! Roblox uh SRC zero random number uh oh! I'm designing a test. Stress. Random. Random. Random between one and length. And then. Minus one. Minus one. Okay. So then we do Okay, move T SRC zero SRC one DST zero. So we're just gonna like <laughs> randomly around the table One, two minus one is one, plus one, okay. Okay. So now we time this and we do like, oh, the total time. Oh, I literally have, okay. Count equals 1,000. Count total equals tick minus T zero. So it's the time and then divided by the length. Actually, this assumes that it's like, I, sh I should be plotting it. No, dude, I need to generate data. Oh, 
think about you. Okay, let's do let's do like min and max. Min equals a, a number. What's a, what's a number? It's like wow, one second really long. Okay, max equals zero. Uh, this is the size. 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 Oversize. Uh. 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 T per S, I guess. And then we add to the total. Total equals total plus T per S. And then print uh, min, min, min S, min S. And then print max. Max, 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 S. Stop being stupid, Roblox. S. Yes. And then print. I should print the 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 total. Print. Uh, average. T per S. Equals. Total over count. Alright. Uh, I should probably save this. Because that was like a lot of work. Notepad. Just in case Roblox crashes, you know. Whatever. Save as. Documents. Literally my only document. Wait. What the hell is all this? Okay. T press. Okay. Oops, I closed it. Uh, now we run this and we get some sort of number. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, what if, how do I, okay. T, oh, whoops. Uh, Time, time, time. Does it mean time, time, time? Uh, absolute time is this. Absolute time. Uh, I want to check absolute time. Absolute time. Absolute time.
Alright. Let's try this. Alright, what does it say? Okay. So minimum is that and it's a small number, and then maximum is that and it's a huge number. So clearly clearly it's O N. Okay. Talk about locals. I was making a test, dude. Should I just go straight ahead and scan step the timer events into the network queue? Because then I don't need to grab the index. I can just flush the network queue. Because all of it needs to be networked. That's basically what I meant by this network queue. Anyways, so... Okay, no, yeah, no, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> If I have, okay, I'm gonna have like a network, local network thing, thing, network guy, network, network. Tick network flush net out <laughs> net perfect so basically um instead of doing this okay I I'm gonna I'm gonna do a I'm going to do the scan step. It's going to be like, ugh, but like whatever, right? Because it's like, ugh, it's good. It's good. It's okay. Scan step, bro. Just, bro, just scan step. It's okay. You can scan step. It's not. Wait, what if I... What if I don't add it to the thing on timer uh, on add timer event? What if I only add to the buffer? On scan step. Network scan step. 
Is that possible? I don't think so. I think I need to also add it to the buffer on add event. So I do need that lel if statement. I, okay, so we have this like this this little net table. So clear, clear net, clear net, hacking, cleat, cleat net, clear net. Dude, I'm clearing the net. All right. Uh, if next net, then channel send. Right, right. How do? Where's my, where's a little channel send guy? All right, I'm gonna grab this dude. Channel send, uh, timer, event, <laughs> net, literally just net, just like blast the table. And then clear it. <laughs> okay, and then all I do, read fast, what's read fast? Bro, are you reading fast? That's illegal. All right, uh, delete. Goodbye. We're gonna scan step. Ha ha ha. Wait, where does where does this the scan step has to happen here? Right? I have to scan step stuff into the network queue. Ah! But then I have to go through everything. Which I'm already doing. Bro, there's too many track things. Re-add. It's like literally the next step. Have you seen my, uh, my, uh, uh, B-Hop dependency graph? Fast mode depends on all the changes that I'm making here. So uh, bots are, are, are like made something that does stuff, but I'm still like making the features behind it. Service eye verification, that still needs to be done. And fast mode, once I have a service eye verification, then I can do like fast mode. Dude, scan step? Really? What if I what if I index hot timers? Like I I I have them indexed so that the scan step only needs to visit 
the hot subset. Basically, the hot subset. Bro. Hi there, how are you? Do I build networking into the default timers? Because I can just be like, oh, does it have dot network? What are you doing in this script? I am reworking the way timer events get replicated in in my uh, development place. Because right now, or, or it used to be that every time you add an event to any timer, it immediately just calls the remote event to replicate that one timer event. So if you spam add timer events, it's just spamming remote calls, remote events. So what I'm going to do is make it so that there's a network buffer and it, it collects all the events that are two seconds ahead of being played in real time well according to the network buffer and sends just that instead of one at a time everything it groups everything together and sends it in a big chunk why you use linux for programming because it's better for linux for, for, for programming and I like it. Um, it's better in every way. <laughs> uh, actually, I just want to let you know that uh, I use Arch Linux, and uh, that just—it's just better, you know. Surf? I think Surf is a really good game, and the mechanics are pretty easy to use. Yeah, Surf is easier to learn than uh, B-Hop. You can get started more quickly. B-Hop, the strafing is like... You gotta get a hand motion going and stuff. B-Hop is... And B-Hop is harder to learn. They're both kind of hard games. But, like... They're, they're also both hard to master, I would say. That it's not really easier to master Surf or B-Hop, but it's easier to start on Surf, though it's like still a hard game for someone who's never played it before. Uh, my brain. Timer.network. Are you is this a is this a networked timer? Did you just network that timer? Don't tell me you networked that timer. So I could use this. I could be like <laughs> Yeah, I guess that makes sense, right? Just make okay. Yeah, no, 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 that makes sense. So, if... Yeah, no, no, I could have one copy of the bots table on the server and have 
a timer for each player that references the same table and then the network buffer on each of those tracks tracks the replication state to each player and then the player can control their personal server side bot timer It's not quite what I want. Like, if you skip ahead. I could store, like, a, a list of replicated indices. That would be a nightmare to manage. Oh. Excuse me, but I could. I played BF one time. I was like, how do you do this? Uh, you can look up tutorials for how to BHOP. I made a tutorial on how to BHOP. But yeah, it's a game that you need to practice. Scan step, bro. Did I really decide to scan step? Dude, you're gonna scan step? <laughs> it's, it's just better. Scan step. Uh, timer dot network. So, so if it's not within the network buffer, it doesn't matter. So if it, Where's the other code that I had here? Uh. All right, what if I go like There, there's my code. Messing up my network index. Yeah. So if it has an index, that means that it was added to the event timeline, which means that the network index which scans the event timeline should be updated to reflect whether or not that index is before or after the network index because it was added before the network index then that means that it was bumped up by one and i only needed to track events after that <laughs> Uh, network dot buffer times timer get global scale. Uh, well, would you look at that, folks? Uh huh. So if we check the future. A Roblox game is still a game. All this work into Roblox. Yeah, kind of, but it's because it's like, 
my project and it just happens to be on Roblox. Like all this code would be great for designing a standalone Beehive game as well. Cause it's like the, the concepts and systems I'm creating are still applicable outside of Roblox. I would love to make a standalone Beehive game. I just don't have enough experience, honestly. I I haven't made any like standalone projects. What I would want, I, I probably want it to be like C plus plus Vulcan standalone Beehive game. That's just all platforms, not all platforms, but like Windows and Linux, basically. Maybe I would have a Mac version as well if I can figure that out. But like. I really like the idea of like just a native app that I build and then I can run and I don't need like any help from like Roblox or anything to make it run. Crunker, I, web is disgusting to me. Web is like, it's like sandboxed inside of the, it's, I don't want to touch web. Web is just like so limited and locked down. You don't get to use the hardware. Like they're working towards it with like web GPU and web assembly and stuff, but you can't use it yet. You can't just have web assembly and web GPU. You need to have like JavaScript and stuff. Like HTML5 is a pretty nice step. When that came out, that was pretty cool. But you can't have a, a pure compiled web page that just runs WebAssembly and WebGPU. That would be like what, what, once that's out, then that's like okay, maybe I, maybe I can build for web. But I don't know how, so I'm I'm a purist without even knowing anything. It's kind of dumb. Hot timers. That timer's hot. Hot timer adds to the network queue. Do I do I look like What the hell? What was I thinking? Yes, I was thinking I can check the network index to see if it's at the end of the list. And if it's at the end of the list, I can ignore it. And like anywhere that it updates the index, I can keep, keep the timers hot indexed. Kind of, kind of stepped, but that's okay. Stepped. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, la la la. Wait, 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 Okay, if index is less than network index, then it means that it's probably gonna go into here. And then add it to a hot timer. I should probably check it anyway. Regardless, if it has an index, what does that mean? Okay, if it's less, if it's less than the index, then it's it's.
Is that possible that the current time... Is, is before the indexed yes? So I think if it hasn't next, then you just hot timer it. You just like, oh, that's a hot timer. Oh my God, that timer's hot. Oh my God, that's a hot timer. And then I have a, a nice hash index. This is all. This is all on the client too. I haven't even wrote the server side code. The server side code is going to be even more complicated. Ah! Wait. What if I have like network helper code, timer network? I don't know, dude. Create network or something. Create network. I don't know, dude. It's like network extensions, kind of. But like having it native in the timers is. Just like monolithic is sort of the, the way it has to be done to have all the relevant information ready. Ah, scan step. So this is the step on me. Step on time. This is the render step, timer step that updates all the timers. And then this is like the fake network step function. Timer net. So I don't need this index, I think. Are you syncing what I'm syncing? All I need to do is like slap the the timer into net Ooh. slap just slap it just give it a right into the net all I need to do is do like <laughs> yeah no 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 literally I'll just could go like this ready ready this is gonna be a one-liner net timer dot replication.id equals timer.network.q wait replication.id that's kind of like similar okay but i use the replica replication model It's so hot. Okay. Um. <laughs> and then I just clear it. Oh no! Wait, I have to. I have to scan that. Ah dang! Hot timers. Timer. Wait. Oh, I can just clear hot timers. Hold on. Uh, wait. 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 No, I can't. I have to, I have to scan through, oh, okay, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, scan hot timers, wait, this is already a hot timer scan, Uh, if timer dot events less than network timer dot network network dot index 
then hot timers timer equals nil. What what was that? Nil instance list? Nil new user what? Network index is where the real time buffer sits. Network dot buffer. I'm I'm this is like I'm writing crazy code right now. Yay, I'm working! I'm working! I'm working, I'm working. When you realize you're working. Work is fun! I love working! Scan hot timers. Uh, that's what I'm doing here. So, oh, no, 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 scan net for time for, for, for uh, net is indexed by the timer ID, bro. Did you just index the timer by the ID, bro? Oh, oh, I literally, yo, okay, for don't care Q in next net do dude 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 okay so i don't need to i don't need to clear it because i need to clear everything uh clear q net id equals no wait would be it would Clearing it is probably faster. Clear net. Probably. Probably. So the network queue, um, I can literally scan at the same time here. Scan step right here. Just do it right there, right now. Scan step it. I dare you. Scan, scan. So basically, um, scan step is literally like, um, it's literally just, um, equals get after uh, events so I can I can localize events as well uh, and the time is 
the time is. Timer time plus uh, network dot network work dot buffer times timer get global scale. What? Why did I? Oh. Fast lane. And then uh, starting with network dot index which I can also write down. Network J. Oh my God, dude. Okay. Network index, network index. Okay. Then we have new network index. Yo, can I just If it's if the network index is less than the number of events else I can grab the new network index and add everything to the buffer. Right. Right. Super Sex 420. That's the artist's name. All I need to do is move. Okay. Uh, if network index does not equal new network index, then... Uh, meaning less than then move events from 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 network index to new network index minus one into the queue at ah no I need to I need to merge it wait no no no, no I don't need to merge it it's fine because it's always at the end of the... Is it always at the end of the queue? Okay, uh, it... It only... <laughs> should be. It should be always at the end of the queue. It should always be at the end of the queue. If it's not at the end of the queue, what's going on? Okay? Number Q. Plus one. Q. And then... And then, basically, I just do... Network dot index equals new network index. Like what? What? That's your scan step. I I I Wow 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 wow. And then I can set hot timer here. Oh no. So I could either move this below and auto set it based on the network index. Or I could make a special case here. I'm kind of the special case coder. It's kind of garbage code though. So if the if it's not changed, I don't need to do anything.
get rid of that hot timer. It, it's not even hot. Right? Events is less than network index. Then it's not a hot timer. Why are you making it a hot timer? Does the queue... The queue probably has a... Uh, a blah blah in it. So it's fine. And then right here we do... This literal exact same code, except with the new network index. Kablooey. And then we just use new network index. New network index. Solid. Okay, that's slightly special casey, but I don't really want to wanna like read the variables again, so whatever. So then uh hot timers gets set when you add an event. And then it gets unset when it scans the hot timers. I do believe that do be making sense. So hopefully, hopefully it's not super slow. Cause like this just keeps getting called. Did I just finish the code? Okay, this is the client side. Never mind. Hot timers equals true. Hmm. Um, I could make this into a little function, get buffer time or something. I could also do like, is time in buffer or something. Timer is time in buffer, this, and that's basically this code. Because like it's in multiple places, so I may as well, right? Oh no, no, I need the timestamp. Shark. So replicate timer events f from the client only includes replication IDs from the local player because it only adds two timers networked from the local player. Owner equals local. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, big code. Huge code, dude. Dude, that code was huge. I love your enormous code. It's so large. Makes me feel like my code is small. The hell am 
I talking about? We have event added. Does it? It needs to update the network index, and it does. Right here. Does that make sense? Okay, then it adds it to the queue. That's a network queue. Heartbeat is always after timer step, but it doesn't matter even if it's before because it'll be on the next frame. So I need to write the client side for replicate timer events. So it'll receive a huge net table. All right, so goodbye function and hello nothing. Stop being like that. Who's doing this? All right, local function replicate timer events and it takes the big net table, just as an argument, just the net table. Uh, server net, server net, which includes more data. Actually, it should be like player list, right? Player list, and then player net. So it's a, it's like a net from each player. <laughs> net for each player kind of so then I do uh, uh, for I equals one number player list do uh, Mm -hmm. So now we got the net, nothing but net. So now, now I go like, oh, well, what timer do you have, sir? For ID Q in next, do I have next here? Yes, I do. Uh, net do. Whoop that ass. Do, 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 I hate my audio, bro. Stop messing up.
W what? Why? Why was it? Why didn't it work? OBS, hello? I don't understand. Audio is weird on OBS. Player timers. Alright, so then I pass that to timer replication. Um, my back. And then, yeah. What did I call it in uh, the timer indexer? Get timer from ID, timers. Timer by ID equals All right, so this has to exist. So basically I would do timer by ID, ID, add event list, and then Q. And that would be the, the optimal thing, but I can't do that. So I have to do timer equals timer by ID. If timer, then else. I can hear now. I mean, I guess this is still making like tables and stuff, so whatever. Is this the... I'm trying to figure out if, if this is like sampled from something I know. Okay. Well, I'm 
Run, run, run. But that's okay. That's okay, bro. Bro, that's okay. Doesn't matter, bro. Okay. Yeah. Smooth. Deep breaths. Yes, I'm working. I'm working. Woo! Oh, I thought I wasn't going to do it today. I was like, oh, man, it's probably not going to happen. But I deleted code and made stuff not work. That's like, that's a huge trick. I got to remember that trick. Just break it, and then I have to fix it. So smart. He is so smart. So basically, yeah, be, 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 be. same thing, same thing, same thing. And I can. That's that. Still works. Still works. Still works. Sexy robot. Uh, ha 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 ha. So. Really, this should be like a special network helper function shared module. But uh, who would want to do that when I can just write, rewrite the same code again and paste it around? I can do that after. All right, we got hot timers. Hmm, that's a hot timer. Okay, so on the left is code work. Replicate timer. So same thing. We could, uh, yeah, it really should be like a special, but so I can do like a uh, network activate timer or something. Activate, 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 activate. All right, none of this garbage. What the hell is that? We don't, we don't do that. None of that. None of that. I mean. Oh, I just check if it has a network. Oh, ha 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 ha. Ha ha. What a story, Mark. So. Oh, dude. What? Oh, that's freaking amazing, bro. Oh, my gosh. Then I just put it in the network queue. I just chuck it in the network queue and forget about it until the heartbeat. I don't need all this, like, should replicate, model replicate. Just if it if it has a network. Wait 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 Oh, look at that. I can do cool beans. Model replicate. What did I just hit? Key going. Wait. Am I? Am I? Are you stupid? Didn't need to check that every freaking time. Don't even need it in a variable.
Wait, what happens if I do model replicate with nothing? It works. All right, so I can literally move this to right here. Oh, but I don't need this code, so. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No need to be frightened. All right, so I, this should be like the exact same code. Right? Can I just like paste this code and we're like, oh. No. Y yes. Yes. Index. It's literally the exact same code. Just get in next after, bro. Yeah. 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 We already checked this right here. Okay. Okay, so this is a bit different here. Uh, instead of player list, player net, all we get is replicate timer events. We get the player and the net. Net comes from the heart. Heart. Net. Nothing but net. Basically, it's this code right here, right? Yeah. Basically, it's this code. <laughs> Copy and paste. player and then the net is just net 
Ha 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 ha! Yeah, it should really be like a network helper function. Do I have this? No, okay. Yeah, I should really have like network helper module or something I can call it. Timer network. Or something. All right, so I'll put it in shared new file. Timer network. Right, 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 right. So, uh, I should be able to just blast this code. Into here. And then you're gone. Bot manager, do we do we need it at all? Nope. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that's you. Oh crap. Okay. Yes. And then other functions replicate timer events. It's more like it's more like uh, uh, no, it's literally replicate timer events. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, timer network dot replicate timer events. Bluey. I only use this in that one function, right? Yeah, okay. Cool, 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 cool. I love this song. Uh, nothing but net. So this is like actually just this function. We can just do like Kersploog and Kersploog. 
let's uh but problem same function name so i'm just gonna like ignore it and just like function yeah and then we're done No music, bro. What are you talking about? Oh my god, OBS. How is OBS so trash? What? Like, I, I just literally reset it. Like, what? Okay, uh, timer, this, this literal, this function right here is exactly the same on both the client and the server. So I can move this into here. I'll just copy the code from here. Timer. Oh, wait, wait, where's add function? Do we use that? No. Ah. I use it here though. Do I also use add function? No. <laughs> okay, it's there. Uh, this is called uh, shared uh, timer network, and it's like a network extension for timers. And it's like it's a hidden module that's only loaded by the network modules that like share code. That's okay. I won't. Mm, that's all right. Uh, you can do that if you want. Timer by ID. Uh, timer network. So this is all shared code. I only use this function here, so that's fine, that's fine. I step, I step, oh, this is the server. I'm like, you what, mate? It's Boshi time. What the hell is that? I run service dot heartbeat connect function. What goes here? There's no way this is going to work. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, hot timers. Hot, hot timers is in the timer network here, right? Yes. So, hot timers. Mm, that's hot. That's hot. So this is the heartbeat of the timers, and this is the net. So do I just send it to every single player? Do I just be like, and it's done? Net. Replication ID. Net. Just do I just like make a net per player, and then it's done? I just. Kablam through the hot timers. It would be nice if the replication IDs were global, but they're not, and it doesn't really make sense to make them global. Actually, I was thinking that I want all timers to originate from the server. Did my, did my audio just break again? Unbelievable. Okay, um, it didn't break actually. That music stopped, and I reset my audio for no reason. Bop, bop. Oh no. Bop. Okay, there we go. Now it's correct. So hot timers <laughs> is not per player, and that's okay. But net does need to be per player. Okay, I kind of want to make it so that all timers are created on the server. But then I also have to like hook on to it on the client and stuff. Rather than just like having it already. How do I do this? If they if they had a server ID, this would work. And I could just use the server ID. It would be better all around, honestly. Timers only created on the server. Or replicated timers are already only created on the server. That would be optimal. Table dot get n. 
Is that exactly my getting next after? No, that's... Why would I use that? It's basically just number. Yep. Ah, uh, this makes me want to rewrite timer replication to be server controlled. Oh, that would probably be better. Oh, actually, that would make it harder to, to make an offline version. can't have a unique identifier for each timer. So I could put this code, That's, that would work. Timer network.
I can just net set, scan step and it returns the queue or something. Client, this is correct. Oops. Okay. Bad respect for Roblox devs. Roblox is where the money's at. So we gotta replicate timer events to everybody. Wait a second. Wait a minute. A uh, player list. And then I can have a net list. Uh, I guess hash as well. I guess that works. Um, Okay, so basically the same thing here, except completely different. Trying to learn from YouTube videos. Ow! Do I clean clean it every? It's a bit harder. 
I learned from script builders. Net player, I can. <sighs> I hate making tables. I hate misspelling player every single time. Okay. I suppose it doesn't matter, eh? I can just grab it off net player. Oh. Oh. Uh, but do it first. <laughs> there we go. That works. Yeah. Okay. We got the next step. And then now we get all we gotta do. Ega bugum ekum bulkum. Oops. Uh four I equals one. Player list. Do wait no 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 no. It's everybody. This player list is just who's getting new events. Uh I equals one number of players. Do. Send players I replicate timer events il, 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 uh, player list net list. So just send everybody all the timer updates. And then we go. I could, uh, yeah, 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 ish, ish, ish. Uh. 
the, it exists anyways, right? No, it does not. It does not exist anyways. So. Do I, do I have this table? Yes, I do. Okay. What the hell is this? Why, why is that right? What happened? I just pasted it in randomly. Okay. Whoops. Okay. All I do need to do is clear the net list. Easy. Easy clear. So it should be guaranteed to have something in it. Because otherwise, it wouldn't create it. So we can basically assume it exists. And then clear the net. And then we do clear player list. Clear net list. Lots of table clearing. Clear the queues. Everything is sent. Ooh. What are your thoughts on stats? Statistics is uh, one of my math weaknesses. Math is usually a strong point for me, but statistics, I am less good at statistics as I, as I am at, about things like calculus. Calculus is like one of my strong points. Okay. Oh. Okay, we got that, that, that. And now we need the network thing a thing. We need to grab this. Yes. And put it into the server. <laughs> and I also need table.clear. Dot cleat. It's trig. Trigonometry is just complex analysis in disguise. It's imaginary numbers, which make a lot of sense once you learn about them. It's like, and imaginary numbers are a subset of like uh, uh, geometric algebra. It's bivector it's a bivector dimension it's kind of strange no it's not because it's 2d oh okay i understand it now <laughs> i just taught myself okay okay i love it when something makes so much sense you could just figure it out that's so good uh, anyway you have no idea what i'm talking about because it's all just random stuff Geometric algebra in 2D. Yeah, it's literally just the uh, the only bivector direction in 2D geometric algebra. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. It's like it's like what if you take 2D. But you ignore vectors. Yeah, no, it's literally just quaternions in 2D. 
I so that's crazy. I there's brain workings going on in my head right now. Okay. So network timers hat I think I'm done coding here. Uh maybe Wait, can I use this? I don't know. I can't remember if I made it work or not. It shouldn't be wrong, at least. Wait, can I use this? What if I use my big ol' algorithm? And then I just do this at the end. That might actually work. Let me let me strap this to the end of my uh, smart bisection test. All right, Kablooey. Oh. Yep. Lower negative one, and then events is just events. Okay. Less than time. Yes. Then n equals i, and then return n plus 1. Uh, uh, calculated index equals number events plus 1. Uh, Actually, oh wait, it won't loop at all. What if it reaches the end of the loop? Uh... Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Let's see if, uh, let's see if I can do this. Calculated index. Uh, where is T0? Oh, I saw a clock. T1. I should, this should be correct. I, let's see. Uh, uh, let me just erase all this. Well, I'll just put it in comments. Uh, I don't need to know N. Index equals index. Well, I, I, you know what? I do want to know it, but uh, index equals index. Whoops, I got distracted. Calculated index equals calculated index. B. Do we get it? Do we get it? Calculate it. Woo! Boy, 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 boy. Oh, no.
Oh. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, is N upper always set? Yeah, it's always set to N number of events. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right. Calculated index 469. Whoa. Ah. Dude, I made it usable. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, dude. I can use it. My super speed algorithm. Yo, yo. All right, what if, what if the table literally has like five elements in it? How many iterations? B. One. Mm. Mm. Zero. Zero. <laughs> it's just like, oh, I know what it is. Index equals nil. Wait, what? Oh. Okay, so that's wrong. Two. Oh. Yo, I can't believe I just figured this out. Iterations zero. Dude. That's some hot stuff, I gotta say. Dude, this is so hot. Oh, dude, I can actually use my algorithm. I found the fixing code. I found the code that fixes it. All right, let's do like 10 million. Oops, I accidentally did a hundred million. So searching through 10 million elements. <laughs> ah. It took five iterations. It still took 0 0.01 seconds though. Why is that? Oh no, that's milliseconds. Excuse me. Excuse me. Searching through 10 million items took 0 0.02 milliseconds. Okay. I'm back to like <laughs> circle congratulating myself on how good my algorithm is. And it's not even like the best or anything. It could uh, it could still be improved easily. Oh man. Okay, well, smart bisection. Dude, I'm glad I thought about this so now I can use it. It's so good. All I need to do is just search through the remaining range, which it, uh, should be pretty small. But it's not, it's not guaranteed to be small, though. Uh, 
range equals seven. So like at the end it, it searches through a range of seven numbers. It spends four seconds sorting a 10 million table, 10 million number table. Oh, I took seven iterations. I don't know, 0 0.03 milliseconds. Oh no. Zero point zero three milliseconds. Ah, oh, no, it's gonna be slow. No. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, uh, this is like really messy code, so. I mean, I could, I could just paste it in and clean it up. It's fine. All right, is the same code in there? Now it is. Okay, so now we grab my entire stupid algorithm. And paste it right here. <sighs> now I have to clean it up. How do I hide this? View, output, build, first. Hide. What is that? Uh. Ah! Good thing I know keyboard shortcuts. What is, oh, the minimap is over there. Apparently show and hide console makes it go away. All right. Uh, we don't need all this method stuff. Don't need all this. End bad ratio, last ratio. Do I use last if? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Last range, n bad ratio, bisect only. Okay, well now I have this wacky crazy algorithm in place I do need to put twos in here uh, yeah just right here oops two
<laughs> oh man, bro. Uh. Oh, I'm so happy I put my stupid algorithm in. Oh wow, the seven hours I spent yesterday have not been for nothing. The only thing I've kind of done with trig was a function that, that got the point on a circle at a certain angle. Yeah, that's the cos and sine coordinates. That's uh, polar to Cartesian coordinates transformation. Ooh, next range. I can call this next range because that's the same. Last range equals range. Last range. Next range. It already knows the range. Last range. Smart coefficient. It can just calculate it on the fly or something. So I can use next range. Or I, I, it can just literally be called range. So range is there. And then now. And then range equals that. And then the last range minus range. And that's Oh, look at that. That's going to simplify. Smart coefficient equals that divide by last range. And this is literally 1 minus. So I can just switch the T. Should be able to. I can't believe I'm not testing this code. over last range. Is it literally one over the smart coefficient? Yeah. Wait, one over smart coefficient less than two. That's the same as saying multiply both sides by smart coefficient. One less than two times smart coefficient. <sighs> or I could divide this by two and say one half is less than smart coefficient. And then smart coefficient goes here. And then one minus smart coefficient goes here.
Okay, well, there's the algorithm. I hope I didn't mess it up. I certainly did mess it up, so. <laughs> Okay, uh, now I have a crazy algorithm that searches through events. Crazy algorithm. <laughs> this, is, this is an insane amount of code. Oh, it's so dumb, but it, it's... Now I finally figured out how to use the result from my algorithm. Okay, um, now let's test all the untested code all at once let's see those errors cd documents game make the I, I haven't pulled the new new make All right, I'm gonna update my little test here. Documents, deepers, jeepers. Okay, cool, wow. No, and then you can't see what I'm doing, but that's not okay, so I'm gonna make it so you can. Wow. There it is. All right, let's see those errors i completely broke the whole game and uh there's no way it's gonna work in the next hour attempt to call no value timer replication 203 Hot timers. Ah. Next. Hot timers. Also on the client, I assume. Yeah. Dolphin laugh. Party of five. What were you guys doing over on Dolphin last stream? I know Dolphin laugh. Two hours ago, playing actually good and enjoyable levels. All right. <laughs> Mario Maker 2. They forced me to play Kitsune. Bruh. Uh, okay, let's see. I made things happen. Attempt at next nil with PT. Timer replication 133. Timer replication 133. Nil. T root is nil. Bro, T root is nil. No, you can't do that to T root. No. Set root. Wait, 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 wait. Set root. Oh, because there was an initialization error. Okay, I have to just rejoin and like screenshot the errors. can barely hear you what bah 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 how probably you want to turn up your ah, i missed the errors i need to see the errors i think you need to turn up all right timer network 32 attempt to call nil value timer network 32 nil value Timer time. Get global scale. I didn't define that function. That's not a real function. Also, insert doesn't exist. And get index after also doesn't exist. Let's define all those. Timer index. Timers. 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 Timer indexer. Dot that. Uh. Uh, table, table dot insert. Okay. Do we need table dot clear? Not here. We also need table dot move. Apparently, we need table dot move. Table dot move. It moves the network 
stuff into the queue, it's guaranteed to play in order. J just so you know, I guarantee it plays in order. It's guaranteed. Because... Yes. Music is too loud. No, it's not! I can see the volume on OBS and it's not loud. How is that possible? OB is OBS just reporting volumes wrong? Look at this. Look at this. Ah! Uh, it goes up to yellow. Wait, why is it? Why is it clipped there? Pa pa pa. Uh, hi from the left ear. Why why doesn't it go up to full volume? Uh, no, you're not having audio hearing issues. Uh, you're just wrong. I'm always right. Get index after. Okay, what else did I need to do? Ta table dot move. Great. So this will this will actually stream bots. If I'm not mistaken, this will literally stream bots. Um, I should. I should make a list function, but that's okay. I can do that later. Oh, list is complicated, but it's worth it. Not, it's not actually worth it, but it is worth it for me because it'll make me happy. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, way. So I need to publish what I just changed and then see what the new errors are. Attempt to call an L value. Are you calling an L value? Why doesn't my why doesn't my microphone go up to full volume? God, it's probably some sort of stupid audio issue. Ba ba ba. What? It only goes up to there. What the hell? Okay, what if I just do this? Okay, fixed? Nope. Ah, uh, nope. Well, uh, I don't know what's wrong. Oh, I should have been attempt to index. Bro, stop indexing nil. I wait. Argument number one. Timer replication two o three. Hot timers. That's a nil value. You can't. You can't do that. All right, I'll just pass hot timers. For now, it's fine. That doesn't work. Making me want to restart my computer. Because, like, there's some sort of strange audio issue that is not normal. I'll do it after I check these errors. I didn't need to shut down.
All right, I'll write that after I restart. I'm going to restart my computer. Be right back.